This is going to be a more in-depth intro to NeoPixels, a little more realistic here, because typically you don't just want to plug in like 300 or 150, you want to actually make your own NeoPixel strips. So what we're going to start with here is an Arduino. We have a strip of NeoPixels, three wires, red, blue, and black, some solder, a wire stripper, and a soldering iron in the corner here. That'll come in later. Okay, so this is going to be the basic intro that's going to be the basics for the rest of my videos, okay? So first thing we're going to do, let's push all this out of the way. And let's just grab a strip of NeoPixels and take a look here, okay? So I'm just going to cut some off right here, okay? So let's take a really close look. It's kind of tough to see, but we have these copper pads here right and they say ground data in and 5 volts all right or it says gnd di which stands for data in and 5v which stands for 5 volts and then there's a neopixel a little itty bitty capacitor to help with any voltage spike that comes through the neopixel and then we have ground data out and 5 volts okay so data in data out so that means the data direction is going this way, okay? So that means we want data to be injected here. We could actually give 5 volts anywhere on any of these 5 volt pads because it's all shared. Same thing with the ground. We could connect ground to any of these pads. But just to make it simple and elegant, we're going to put everything here. So I'm going to have black for ground, blue for data in, and red for 5 volts, okay? So let's put my strip away. And I don't like to solder right on my desk. I've got this little piece of cardboard I can do it on, okay? So I like to make sure that there's a little bit of weight holding the NeoPixel down. i got this little stepper motor here to help me out. Okay, that's going to hold it there. So to solder NeoPixels, first of all, I'm right-handed. Okay, I'm going to scoot this back just a little bit. That means I'm going to work with the ang with it angled slightly right here. So I want to work from left to right, okay? So pay close attention here to the solder, okay? So if I put solder on this tip, uh, I don't know if you can see the smoke through the camera here. There's the smoke, right? So it smokes a little bit. It keeps smoking, and then it's done. That smoke is a rosin. The rosin helps it stick to stuff, okay? So at this point, it would not actually stick very well to the pad itself. So I'm going to tap my my soldering iron clean that that bubble off and we're going to have some fresh solder on here so first of all here's my soldering iron right i'm going to put just a little bit on the tip okay and then i'm going to place it at the top of the pad here you see that so there's the top of the pad i'm going to take my solder and slide it along the bottom of the pad into the soldering iron okay and then just let it go and there we go. That is beautifully soldered. Do it again. Do it again. All right. So now we have this gorgeously soldered pad here. All right. Cool. Next thing I want to do is prep my wires. Okay. So there's about a thousand ways to prep a wire. I have my particular way. And you guys can do it whatever. So first of all, the small side, I'm just going to strip little tiny, tiny bits off, right? You see that? That little tiny bit? Okay. That's about an eighth or a tenth of an inch. Okay. Do that again. Or about two to three millimeters, depending on where in the world you are. <laughs> so then I'm going to take my solder here. And from the side view... It's actually hooked and down a little bit, okay? So it's coming up and then right back down. And that's going to help me feed solder into the wire, okay? So a little bit of solder on the tip, right? And then I'm going to lay the, the wire onto the tip and then bring it up into the solder. And there we go. Let's see if we can get it to focus. That is a nicely soldered wire. Not the best focus, but that's all right. Do that again. Cool. And then 
one more time for the blue. Okay, sweet. Now we're going to grab our pad we just made. Okay, cool. And something heavy to hold it again. There we go. And I have ground, data in, and 5 volts. Okay. So, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to work left to right. Let's see, there's a little blob on my solder. I'm going to clean that off. Okay, which is just me tapping on the edge. Always keep your soldering iron dirty, okay? It's bad for the tip to clean it. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to put the wire on, a little bit of heat, and hold it there, right? Make sure the wire is actually in the right spot, and then bring the heat off, okay? And that's a beautiful solder job right there. I'll show you guys a close-up in just a second. Do that again with the, the blue here. And feel free to hold it. Like, don't just tap it, right? Don't just tap it in there and try to spread the solder. Like, lay that iron on there until things melt. You want everything to melt and then solidify, okay? You don't just want to spread solder. You want it to flow. And one more time with the red. There we go. Perfect. Cool. So I'll try to get a close-up for you guys here. Let's try to straighten that out a little bit. Cool. So looks like the pads are nice and separate. Nothing's going to touch. This will work out just fine. All right. So next thing we're going to do is look at the backside. So even though they're close to the same length, for some reason, I like to make them even. Okay. So those are even. Now this is where I get a little tricky. Okay. So I've got about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch half an inch or so, hang it out of my fingers here, right? I'm going to pinch it here. I'm going to take my strippers here, and I'm going to pry it against my finger. See the tip of my finger right here? Against the, the clippers here, the strippers. And I'm going to pry it open just a little bit here. And then I'm going to take this and twist this off. And that's going to make this nice twisted bundle here that's not going to fray on me. Okay, so I'll do that to each of these and pry it, twist it off. And I might make it look easy. This is not an easy thing to do. The soldering's not easy. The stripping's not easy. None of this is actually easy, <laughs> okay? But if you practice enough, it will get easier on you. All right, so now that I got these three, so again, I'm going to hook this down, right? And grab the soldering iron. Let's get that tip wet. There we go. Okay. And just let that solder flow. Okay. Again, my soldering iron's at 750 degrees. That's what I like to run it at. I'm kind of fast at this. If you're not fast, don't run it so hot. Okay. Run around 650 or so. Okay. See a little blob there? That's all right. All right. So now I have three tinned wires. Next thing we're going to do is bring the Arduino in. So let's see if these even fit here. Okay. So I'm going to put this one in ground. Fits just fine. This one in 5 volts. That fits fine. Except for it's not in 5 volts. It's in ground. There it is. Now we're in 5 volts. And then over here, it really doesn't matter. I'll fit it in. I'll put it in 7, just so we can change the code. That doesn't fit so well. So it's got a little blob at the end. That's all right. Clean that up. Put that in 7. There we go. That fits now. All right. So let's take a look at the code now, okay? So we've got our Arduino with our NeoPixel strip plugged in, okay? And now we got to actually code this thing up. All right. So first thing we're going to do is go to sketch, include library, 
and manage libraries here. Okay. We're going to make sure we actually install the, the NeoPixel library. It's going to take a second to load all sorts of libraries that it has. All right, so now it's done. Up here in the search bar, I'm just going to type in Neo and wait. Okay, and then it's going to update all this. So we've got lots of different libraries. What we want is Adafruit NeoPixel library. So what I'm going to do is click on this, and then I would click install. This one's already installed, so we're good. I'll update it later. <laughs> This is fine, a fine version, okay? And once that's installed, I'm gonna close this out, okay? Now I can go to File, Examples, and way down here, okay? You keep going way down, I have Adafruit NeoPixel. And boy, I have a lot of libraries. There it is. And so Adafruit NeoPixel, and then I'm gonna go to Strand Test, okay? So here's my strand test. So this gives you a couple uh, couple tips on how to install it. So we didn't add a thousand microfarad capacitor at the first NeoPixel, okay? Uh, we definitely minimized wire length. We didn't do a data, or we didn't do a 300 to 500 ohm resistor, but that's not a big deal in this scenario. For doing an installation, we definitely want this. I've seen them fail before. If you do put a resistor, I'll show you in later videos how to do this. But make sure it's right at the, the microcontroller, okay? Don't just put it anywhere. Put it right next to the microcontroller, okay? And you don't always need this. You don't always need a logic level converter, especially if your runs are short. But if you're going any good distance, you're going to want that, okay? And this is very true. Skipping these may work on your workbench, but can fail in the field. That's very true. All right. So let's take a look at the code here. First thing it does in this strand test code is includes the NeoPixel library, right? So all the NeoPixel library code is now included, and we have access to it in the sketch. Okay? Next thing we're going to look at is our LED pen. So the define is a compiler command which everywhere where we see LED pin, it's going to erase it and put a 6 there. Okay, that's what this compiler command here does. And then everywhere where it says LED count, it's going to replace it with 60. Now let's take a look at our, our uh, strip here and actually count these. Okay, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got 9 pixels. So let's put that in our Arduino here. Okay, we got 9 pixels. All right, and let's take one more look at our bench. Our data line is plugged into 7 there, okay? So we go to Arduino, and LED pin is 7. All right, so now we're actually going to create the object, okay? So we're going to use the Adafruit NeoPixel library to create an object. It's called Strip, and it takes a couple things to create it. We need an LED count which it'll re erase that and put 9 there. The LED pin, which is 7. The data order, right? So does it send red first or green first? And the data speed, which is 800 kilohertz, okay? So most modern strips run just like this. If you use the high-power NeoPixels or the Christmas light-looking NeoPixels, you're going to want to do RGB, okay? But these NeoPixel strips run off GRB, okay? So what do we got here? We got the library added. We've got an LED pin. We got an LED count. And we created an object here called strip, okay? Now that we have an object called strip, we can give it commands, okay? So under setup here, there's not much to it. First of all, if we're using an ATtiny, it adds a couple things. Not necessary for what we're doing but very important, okay? Strip.begin, so this is a strip command because it's it's part of the object here, right? So strip.begin, what that's gonna do is set aside memory for each NeoPixel and make that, that pin and output, okay? Well, actually, this sets aside the memory for it, but this at least makes the pin and output, <laughs> okay? And then it's gonna do a strip.show, which is gonna broadcast 
to each of these NeoPixels here, okay? So if I got this NeoPixel strip and I tell the first NeoPixel here to be red, it's not going to turn red until I give it a strip.show command, okay? That strip.show is very important and I constantly forget it. And then there's a strip.set brightness. And I'll explain how this is useful later. I personally don't like to dim the whole strip. I like to choose each NeoPixel's brightness and change that. And But we can save power by doing this and run a lot of stuff off our USB if we do this. Okay? So very important under our setup here. So under our setup, we need strip.begin, strip.show. Strip.set brightness is optional. We don't necessarily need this, but we're going to leave it like this for the testing, okay? So let's, uh, let's take a look at this in action. I'm going to plug my Arduino in here, okay? And I'm going to go to Tools. Let's see, what are we doing here? So Tools, Board... AVR boards, Arduino Uno. Doesn't quite show up in this. I guess I'll go back to the last one there. Here we go. So tools, board, AVR boards, Arduino Uno. Okay. Port. One of these should say Uno. There it is. Cool. And tools, programmer, AVR ISP Mark II. Okay. So if we have all that set up, all we should need to do, oh, I'm in the wrong window here. <laughs> That's all right. Let's uh, let's just go back to the bench here. So what I'm going to do here is hit upload, and it's going to compile for a second and then start uploading, okay? So here I hit upload, and I'm going to go to the bench view here. And so compiling... For some of you, it might take a while. For some of you, it might be instant. I guess for me, it's going to take a while. <laughs> All right, there it goes. Now we're we're starting here. Okay. There we go. Now it's uploading. All right. So we've got it talking and working. Okay. So this is the absolute basic here where we take a strip of NeoPixels, we solder our own wires to it, and connect it to an Arduino Uno. Okay. This is going to be the basics for most of these videos as we're going to assume we did something like this. Anyways... Thanks for watching, and we're going to go deeper, much deeper, in the next bunch of videos.